off tonight. Residents in South Overton are sharing their frustrations over a proposed student housing project in their area and how their council representative voted on it. KCBD News Channel 11's Madeline Hall spoke with District 1 Councilwoman Christy Martinez Garcia about her vote and what the future holds for the project. Madeline? Christy and Abner were kind of at a loss as to where the advocacy for was upfront about her vote change from a no to a yes on the student housing project near 14th and Avenue X. But some of her constituents say they don't feel represented and have lingering questions about why she changed her mind. We're kind of at a loss as to where the advocacy for her citizenry is right now. Residents in South Overton are making their concerns known. As City Council gets ready for another vote on a zoning change that would allow a student housing complex to be built near 14th and Avenue X. I think in situations like this, there's a lot of chatter that happens behind the scenes. And as residents, we wanted to be very upfront and very transparent. City Council rejected the zoning proposal when it first came up last year. Residents testified for more than three hours at Citizens Tower about how they believe the housing project would ruin the neighborhood. If we allow commercial entities, high density housing, retail, to encroach any further into the neighborhood, it is just going to continue to chip away at the quality of life that we as residents enjoy and want to keep. District 1 City Councilwoman Christy Martinez Garcia was one of the votes against the project. That vote then changed last month. Last time I voted one way and the second time I voted a different way because change has happened. The councilwoman says she understands the concerns of her district and says that's why she has facilitated conversations between both sides. Everything that they asked, that the citizens wanted addressed, I felt like the developer was willing to compromise. But, you know, there's a lot of mistrust between both parties. The main concerns from residents brought to Martinez Garcia's attention, crime, traffic, and infrastructure. She says the city is already working to mitigate those issues through traffic studies, increased patrols, and road work. We're really trying to address it now so that it's a little bit easier to manage and navigate no matter what the decision is. The councilwoman says no matter what, she is going to make what she believes to be the best decision for her district. While I am concerned and committed to this particular neighborhood, I also have to look at everything that's happening around it. I've followed everything in the process of making a decision. But again, you cannot be bullied into decision. You have to be sensible. You have to put everything that you can so that you are doing this properly. Council will have a second reading of the zoning plan this coming Tuesday. Martinez Garcia says she does not yet know how she will vote, but she will follow her conscience. Christy and Abner. Thanks so much.